guys, it's Angel. Today I'm going to show you how to make pumpkin fried rice using this cute little pumpkin called kabocha. If you haven't had kabocha before, it is actually a Japanese winter squash that kind of tastes like a cross between a butternut squash and maybe a sweet potato. <laughs> the taste is kind of unique, so you're going to have to try it yourself, but it's super tasty in this fried rice recipe that I highly recommend you try it. Now in this recipe, I am going to be using this Lucky Kabocha pumpkin, who I have been hatching in my kitchen for about three and a half weeks now. When I first got him, he was all green, and now he's kind of brightened up a bit. A little bit of orange here, and some grayish spots in the front as well, which means he is ripe and ready for cooking. So with that, let's get started on the ingredients. First, let's pick our pumpkin. Keep in mind that kabocha can be stored for up to a month at room temperature to ripen, and ripe kabocha will have some color of orange or gray in it. For this recipe, we'll need one whole kabocha pumpkin, plus half of a small one for the fried rice. Time to prep the pumpkin. Wash and scrub the whole pumpkin well because you can eat the skin. Totally optional if you'd like, but the skin is sweet and sometimes people say it's the best part of eating the pumpkin, so let's make sure it's squeaky clean. With the smaller pumpkin piece, start by removing the seeds with a spoon. Then wash and scrub the outside of the pumpkin, just like we did with the full piece. Next, let's microwave the pumpkins for about a minute and 30 seconds each to soften the skin prior to cutting. After a minute and 30 seconds, check to see if the skin is soft enough. If not, you can always microwave in 30 second increments until it's easier and soft enough to cut. Starting with the kabocha half, remove the skin and cut into bite-sized pieces. We'll need about one to one and a half cups of the pumpkin in bite-sized cubes for the fried rice. For the whole pumpkin, start by scoring a circle shape with the tip of your knife, creating an outline for a lid and opening at the top. Next, insert the blade point of your knife vertically, inch by inch, until you've gone around the circle once. And on your next pass, begin to gently wiggle the knife side to side, which will help to release the pumpkin lid. Once the lid is off, remove the seeds from the inside. Now he's ready. Time to steam. Bring a pot of water to a boil and prepare the pumpkin in a steaming basket with the lid on. Steam for about 35 minutes or until you can easily insert a butter knife into the pumpkin. When it's done cooking, set it aside with the lid off to cool. Now for the fried rice ingredients. We'll need one cup of white rice, cooked and cooled. We'll also need these ingredients here. I recommend using low sodium soy sauce and thick cut bacon. Now it's time to cook. I'm starting by preheating my wok and cooking the scrambled egg mixture. It should only take a minute, so there's no need to overcook. Once you're done, transfer the eggs to a plate for later use. Next up is our kabocha. Stir fry the kabocha for 2-3 to three minutes until softened. 
Once they're softened, add in the sliced bacon. Remember, I'm using thick cut bacon here. Once the bacon is brown on the edges and almost fully cooked, go ahead and add in your yellow onions. We'll want to stir fry the onions for about one minute until just barely translucent. Then add in our shrimp pieces. Next, add in the minced garlic. And finally, the white rice. Break up the rice if you need to before adding the soy sauce. Now we can add back the scrambled eggs. Next, add sea salt and pepper to your liking. And because we don't know what it tastes like yet, we must stop the taste test. Mmm. Just perfect. Finally, in our last 30 seconds of cooking, we'll add in the green onions, fold them in, then turn off the heat. Now let's stuff the pumpkin. Drain and remove any excess water using a paper towel. Then with a spoon, gently scoop in the fried rice. Replace the top, and now we have pumpkin fried rice. Yay! As you can see, pumpkin fried rice is really fun and easy to make, and it smells really good right now. I can't wait to try it. Mmm, I just had a piece of the pumpkin and it's literally melted in my mouth. It's buttery, nutty, it's really good. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed making it. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel, Angel Wong's Kitchen, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!